You in the shade, girl? It's too much heat for you? I didn't even know she was next to you. I did not know you was next to her, Remy. We saw some peer runners this weekend. And we noticed that the pier was rather short. And if you run on the Kyrtisov, the pier in Kyrtisov that we were at, not knowing, you know, I know there's more than one pier somewhere there, but this pier had a short matter of fact run way, or it's not a runway. So I'll, let me tell you my terms. All piers are made for running, <laughs> not walking. <coughs> but that's how I see the world. <laughs> you can uh, walk the pier and sweat to death in some of these hot places. Um, you could run it and get to the ship quicker. And then once you get to the to, uh, ship, you have to wait in a long line. <laughs> that's topic that's a subtopic we're going to visit later. Then I like Cures Kirtisol here because it it's an old school concrete but contemporary concrete pier. It has hardly any rails and there are no there's no shuttles. There's no human shuttles, horse shuttles, donkey shuttles, um, bicycle shuttles, tricycle shuttles, none what what. I'm looking for more of those peers, peers builders. Write your congressman. This is serious. They need to take the they need to take put the fun back into what I want for my channel. And that's peer running. Not peer riding. I don't want to see nobody riding. There's just no fun in it. And you're not gonna get on here and put down that I'm not the police, the YouTube police, but you're not gonna get on here and put Hey, Leonard family. I didn't say hi because I'm ranting about being home from a cruise two days. One day, actually, because we just got back just in time for me to yesterday morning, Memorial Day, morning of Memorial Day. And nah, wife's like, uh, OK, uh, go right out to the backyard and start the grill. Eight o'clock in the morning, United Airlines. Been up since four been up since 3 30 that morning to catch a a near or oh dark 30 flight <clears throat> wife had plans for me before we even left miami normally i wouldn't like this you know normally i wouldn't be i wouldn't uh have a, a you know felt comfortable with that if you know what i'm saying but now things have changed lost some weight Gained it back on the cruise. Losing it again today. I know I am because I drank my protein shake. Ah, uh -huh. and then I'm going to beautify the yard like a well, like a homeowner should. <clears throat> I'm still old school, so I was going to say it like a man should, but it's a new day. I'm learning. I'm trying to wrap my head around genders these days and non-genders. Um, but it's all in love, but nobody probably would know that. But anyway, sidetracking. 
I took my, I ate my vitamin D, and now I'm out in the sun getting more of it because I need ice. I lack vitamin D on a tragic level. <clears throat> and it, okay, and that's subtopic number C or three. Forgot the first one, but it has something to do with Curtisol's peer, uh, peer and Galleyways. Yeah, the Galleyways is another. Yep, that's another subtopic. All right, well let me let me write these down. Let's cover out of all these topics. I need you to vote. Um, I need your vote on which one we should cover first, and only or first amongst these four or shut up and keep on talking as you're probably telling me get to the point when you're gonna get to the good part uh, get down to the good part you might have to look that song up on apple music <laughs> haven't heard that in a long time okay so went to uh the abc islands this past uh week for eight day cruise right eight day cruise experience and <clears throat> and Leonard family I want you to know and whoever else is in the room I want you to know this is in my top two cruises of all time and one is a default cruise I really don't know if I should you know mess with the very first cruise I've ever been on uh, almost 30 years ago, but, but hey, it's in there too. So, and I, yeah, yeah. So this is in the bunch and I, and it has a lot to do with, um, frame of mind, physical state. So we covered the mental, physical, uh, spiritual one. We'll put that, we'll put that on the. We'll sidecar that one. We'll sidecar that one and, and see if having, you know, having the right spirit or spirit and cruising and means anything. So that's one I'm going to leave up to you all to, you know, to, for you to chime in and say, hey, spirit is involved in this. I know spirit's involved in everything, but <clears throat> hey, I uh, leave that up to you theologians to help me out. All right. Now, the first topic we're going to visit is, once again, I was talking about the Curtisol port. <clears throat> and, and, this, and, and this is the first time we ever filmed our own Peer Runners Live. I was so beside myself, I couldn't even get my camera straight because I was like, I couldn't believe it was happening. So I had my camera like this and, and I'm like, so just picture it vertically long way, it's horizontal. I'm like, hey, peer runners, uh, we, <laughs> I didn't know if I wanted to laugh or cry. Cause I was like, our, our channel finally got to catch what it was made for some peer, some actual peer running. And we were the peers, P-E-E-R, with other people watching the peer runners run. So. So this past week, this show was validated with its credibility and what it was named for. In a nutshell, to break that down for me, because I can use a lot of words, is that we were, our channel was made for this past cruise. We were made for that day. And there were six late peer runners. Can you believe it? Not just one. Not even three, but six. I was so by myself, beside myself when it was happening that I just, I could have went to heaven. I, I didn't even know it was sick late people. I, I caught one or two of them and I was, I was done then. I was, I was, uh, I needed a, I probably needed a Kleenex. I would have been a, almost a, a a representative for Kleenex. Thanks. Thanks, Leonard. <clears throat> for those of you listening, I'm Marion. 
Jr. and spelled Marion, M-A-R-I-O-N. And my wife is Tracy, who's not sitting in this chair. See this chair? We're gonna leave that for Tracy, but we can't. It pains me to say we can't leave that chair for Tracy right now. Tracy's in another chair. Earning money for our next cruise. Ah, I see boys. <laughs> I love cruising. Everybody across the world, stomp, pound your fist, and repeat after me. I love cruising. I hear you. I love cruising. But in a loud voice, and then take your fist and whatever table or chair you sit in and go, I love cruising. I love cruising. I love cruising. <laughs> cruising. Do you love cruising? Let me see you wave your hand. For all those John McCain's out there, let me see you wave your nub. Rest in peace, Senator John McCain. <clears throat> I'm taking these cruises knowing that one day I need a, a rotator, a double rotator cuff replacement and two knee replacements. <laughs> But I'm gonna cruise till the wheels or the nubbies fall off. <laughs> These people think they they're hot, they're hot stuff in their uh, in their uh, battery powered scooters on the cruise. Wait till I show them Olympic style cruising without limbs. <laughs> Alchemy bar, <laughs> right past it on the celebrity and the um, magic. Because it's a narrow walkway. <laughs> so if you don't move out my way by the time I'm nubby nubby, I'm running over ankles and toes. And all you're going to be is a speed bump to me. <laughs> and I'm going to have the, you know, Tracy bought a Carnival Cruise uh, radio shaped in a boat. Y'all seen it. I'm going to be bumping. Now, they don't like you playing your radio on the cruise unless what? It's a Carnival Cruise radio product. Ah, see how they do. <laughs> they ain't right. I'm going to show you all some pictures. Oh, that's, well, I'm off topic. But whoever came in here, Leonard family helped me stay on task. Hi, Tarnisha. Hey, Robert. Bobby Q. And thank you for shouting out. We love cruising. Mm -mm. Hey, and I live in comp good company because my neighbors right over this side of the fence, they cruise as much as we do. <laughs> we tag team it. We ain't never seen each other one on them yet. But oh my goodness. <sighs> Life is good. You could have never told me that I would have experience this life that I have years ago. So I want to be around longer to do it. So when I go in there looking like this and my my breast pasties to hold my <clears throat> my man man girdle I don't wear. I'll be ready to cruise, 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 and walk the entire ship. You ever walk the entire ship floor by floor, cabin floor, one, two, three, 
four. The, the guest services desk floor. Have you walked it all? Have you walked it all? Not just the Lido and I don't even see the word promenade no more. If you all find the word promenade on your cruise ship, please come back and tell me. I need to hear that word for old time love boat's sake. Promenade. I need to hear it. I think we're getting away from some cruising terms. I think we evolved. I don't know if I like where this evolution is coming because I'm getting older and I don't like change that much. But I'm rolling. Okay, <clears throat> so let me tell you the state of my health today. <clears throat> After a cruise, getting off Saturday or Sunday morning. Sunday morning, some morning. And then we landed from Miami. We landed back here Monday morning. And I think I'm coming down off of a cruise high. <clears throat> and uh, if you're in here, give me a, in all caps, we love cruising. And about as many explanation points as Tarnisha has of Leonard and of Leonard family fun. Count them now. I see. See how distracted I am. I've been like this ever since I rode the shorts. Um, one, two, three. Oh man, now I need my 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 magnifying glass. So I'll just go with 10. It looks like 10. Make it 12. <laughs> I'll lay on it. So if you're in here, please type We Love Cruising. If that's your thing. But type whatever it is you love and type it in here. Just to show me I'm not just, you know, niching down just because I can. Niching down. The, where is niching down in the Bible? What scripture is that? Thou shalt niche down. What commandment is niche down? Uh, in the Bible, in the in the YouTube Bible, niche down. Can you believe those terms? Niche down for those of you YouTube researchers. Hey, Reza, what's up, man? Hey, Anthony on the move. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, y'all. The entry to this room for you able typers, Type in all caps. <clears throat> Shoot, maybe we need to hashtag it. We love cruising. Now, I know it's not an original hashtag. I know it's out there somewhere. Let's add to it. But type we love cruising in all caps and, and about 12 exclamation points or hashtag it. I don't know why we're doing that. What does hashtagging help? What is, but it does help me to know that you love cruising. So if you feel like doing anything here, your homework for the next five minutes is to type in, we love cruising. All right, so we're back from um, the ABC Islands. These set of ABC Islands, because I think, you know, I thought they were different. The ABC Islands were different from the selection we went to. Aruba, Bonaire, Bonaire, okay? And Curacao. Y'all, I'm moving to Curacao. I'm moving to kill this all. See my Kevin Hart eyes crisscross? I'm moving to kill this all. I don't care if I'm a veteran. I'm getting VA disability. Now I gotta go. Kill this all is chill. Kill this all has the right heat for me. I perspire and then it dries before it rolls down. Man. What's up, Z? Hey, man. Zeke, stand by. I'm supposed to, uh, I'm late for this other, uh, for this other live that was happening. And I was supposed to do this in 10 minutes. But, hey, there's so many of us in this world that's doing cruise, cruise lives or lives that 
you know, hey, I can't be sorry for, you know, trying to give room to everybody else. <clears throat> Good lesson, Alexander Hamilton. And that was the fool that shot him. <laughs> Love that guy. First seen him on Nationwide is on your side. He had this velvety, buttery voice. It's the first time I've ever seen him. And then he starred in Alexander Hamilton. My name is Alexander Hamilton. That's all I got. <laughs> hey, Z, give me a thumbs up if you're in here. I want you to do something. Okay, before I pull you up, Z, if you don't have anywhere to go, because like I said, I was supposed, I know I was supposed to go to this other, uh, but I've been to a lot of lives this morning, so I'm going to concentrate on me right now because, y'all, I'm in, this channel is in need of some help if you are, are analytical and do look, are you, are you an analytics type of person? Okay, Z, I'm going to pull you up, okay? But I'm going to set the stage first. When I, when I do... You'll be ready to chime in if you don't have anywhere to go, if you're not left, if you haven't left. All right, so we're back two days from this cruise. Back in our house officially. Maybe just a uh, 20, about 23 hours and some change. <clears throat> All right, we land <clears throat> from Miami and Houston. Um, and if already, Tracy already has plans for me because she told me the night before, so I didn't, it wasn't a surprise. Okay. To come home and barbecue, light the grill as soon as I come home. Now, this is, we landed home eight, eight o'clock AM, eight o'clock in the morning. Been up since 3.30-ish, 3.25-ish, because we prepared for an old dark 30-ish flight from Miami. <laughs> that was an experience. Um, and then we get here, and I kick right in the reality back home stuff. My husband's your and uh, honey-do lists. And those ribs, I have to say, they were one of my best taste. Oh my good, the flavor was one of the best. I think is the best I've ever done. If you need some ribs, I'll dry some to you and send. Just send me the uh, send me sixty bucks because including shipping, and you'll have some of the best ribs on dries, fresh that I can get out of here by UPS, FedEx, or whatever. All right. All right, back to on topic. Instead of me trying to get some money. So we land here and I start barbecuing right away. Hey, Leslie Odom Jr. Man, Leslie. How you been, man? Hey. I haven't talked I haven't I haven't seen your name in forever. All right, so I took a hiatus. But okay, so we land, I barbecue. Ribs and chicken's done by 2 slash 3.30 because I, you know, barbecue and experience. <clears throat> I don't know where I'm going with this. But if it sounds interesting, uh, I'll move right along and take a thumbs up if you got one. Okay. So this morning I wake up. So I can be, you know, do domestic work, clean out the pool, clean out the pond like I'm the pool boy, sweep the deck, water the plants. They came home to a pigeon living in this plant. Got got two baby, got two eggs in it. It's nursing right now. But check this out. It wasn't the <laughs> it wasn't the pigeon that built the nest. <laughs> You know who built the nest? Two cardinals, a red and a blue one, built the nest. And this and this pigeon, who they must maybe maybe it's their adopted child. <laughs> this 
this dove moved in the the, the nest they built. <laughs> hey, that's right. You took you took off Leslie Odom Jr. You're right. My bad, Anthony on the move. <laughs> Leslie Odom Jr. Nationwide is on your side. Oh, I don't give it justice. I can't. I try. I, uh, don't cover another gifts, but man, that voice. <clears throat> Nationwide is on your side. Okay. A little bit more Bob Rattle. All right. If you're listening, Leslie Odom, give me a lesson. <clears throat> and he was an Alexander Hamilton for those of you that just got in the room, even though I think the one that's telling us all about it is in here. Okay, so I'm back to honeydew list. It's time to clean the backyard. If you see the lighter green sections in the grass and the darker sections means um, I, I have some evening... I have some fertilizing and ironiting to do to get it all to look the same. I have more energy because I lost weight and I drink these shakes now. That's a that's another topic for another video about losing weight on a cruise. I've done it, did it again. Ish. <laughs> okay. All right, so since I'm forgetting if I had a main point, let's talk about the main points. Curacao has a short, has a short run, has a short pier for running. However, if you pay attention from beginning to end, last because they, they're running, they even enter into the official area to get to the port. And then when they run the port, it's, you know, it's almost the size of a, about half of a, a little over half, if not the end zone without the touchdown part. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now I'm about to chime Z in because Z, Z, this is about about a selfish topic about our channel name. Our channel name was validated on this cruise to the ABC Islands. We finally saw our own live uh, live peer runners that we could post from our eyes only which almost didn't happen because I almost cried like a baby. I'm like, if y'all watch Five Heartbeats or Temptation, it's happening, baby. Nights like this. All right, anyway, come on in, Z. And Anthony on the move, you're going to come up too if you feel like it because I'm going to invite you to talk about Leslie Odom because I like that guy because I got something to tell the world about Leslie Odom and Disney. Shame on you, Disney. Um... All right. Meanwhile, I don't know how to work this because I was once tech a techie, and that those thirty years ago are long gone. Okay, don't know how to get you in here, Z, but we're gonna try. I'm looking for any signs of help. I see the three dots. Save, highlight, share, mute microphone, cancel. Can't bring you up, Z. All right, I don't have that program. I need to get that. All right, so anyway, this sucks. I don't want to talk in here by myself, but I'm going to keep going. So we're back from the ABCs. Anybody been? And how many non-cruisers do we have in here? Who's, you know, are you planning on cruising? Or you, you like the topic of cruising? Are we all loyalists here? We have loyalists or travelers by trade, not cruising. What, who's all represent? No, I'm not on StreamYard yet. When it, I'm just starting now to buy our um, our editing softwares, um, online softwares, and and uh, StreamYard is in the pipe. But I'm walking it slowly because um, we like cruising so much. I don't want to go broke doing it, doing all of this at the same time when the focus has always been cruising and not YouTube. YouTube is something that came along that I made it a focus so that um, I can help Tracy. I want to help my own wife. I want to help her quit her nine to five so we can cruise before, you know, like we used to cruise a few years back. When we, the most cruises we did in the one year was eight. 
and we are my head's spinning from that still because I didn't know you could do that being us being as poor as we were <clears throat> we're still in the poverty level for a house of the number size it is but but this poverty here in the USA is not like what I saw overseas so we got it good and sitting by my own fountain in a, in a backyard that, that we constructed all of this construction you're looking at. So for you believers, God is good. Helps you cruise all the time. What scripture is that? God is good. He helps you cruise all the time. Somebody look it up. I think it's the I think it's the, um, <laughs> it's in my version, nearest you, Latin version available. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lord, I just had to make a little jokey joke. All right, Z, if I can get you up here. Can you crash my live? Can you get in here? I'm gonna see how this works. Can I, I have to rotate back? So rotate. Man, I thought this was so easy to help people come up. Anyway, but um, all right. So this is day two. So let's talk about the the um the pier. The pier is a short pier, ish, but the whole experience is good for watching because they're running by the time. They get through the gate and then they run. We had six pier runners in Curacao. Um, they, one lady stopped to adjust her shoe or take her shoe off. That was that was something to see. I got that. I'm gonna post that if I didn't already. Um. Okay, then that was short. And then you hear all the people yelling. That was good. I love that. Because I always look for the one Latina voice that sounds almost annoying. Because uh, if you watch one of my, watch one of our um, our uh, shorts, you hear titled like "You've never been, you've never been heckled until you've been heckled by, uh, you know, a Latina." <laughs> You gotta see this video. So I ain't gonna give it away. Somebody's gonna tell me if they ever seen it. It's the funniest thing you ever heard. <laughs> ah, I'm still laughing. Uh, so, so we so we get over everybody back to the ship, assumedly, right? Because we seen somebody leave in a suitcase, and they weren't. They did nothing about them. Said crew <laughs> or a comedian switching out carnival cruise nights. To, uh, performance days something didn't say contractor to me about them I just didn't know why they were leaving the ship with a representative <laughs> uh, I always have my di okay um, that's a segue into my brain jumping all over the place in this topics I did not smell marijuana on this ship at all. This is the first first time we never Tracy and I not I'm not speaking for other passengers. We did not smell marijuana on the ship. That's a miracle. That's a miracle. For, for, from 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 my side of the ship. And I was on the 15th floor. So I was looking for something to rise up or or flow to the side. I really think one day in the, on the Mardi Gras, we was next to a, a passengers who had smoked right next door. I got I got paranoid, not from contact, but from thinking that like if they come to kick anybody out the room, I'm like the smell is infiltrated our our room, and if we walk out the door, if we had to open the door, they would. It was that 
loud smelling that it I felt like it was our cabin but I know it wasn't us and I was um hey warm star what's up Bill I want to bring you and Z up but I don't have um I'm slow on getting stream yard so but anyway but um back to the topic <clears throat> I didn't smell any marijuana on this cruise I'm very happy about that I'm not against it it's just that right now I don't I don't even want to see feel and be affected by that environment on a pleasurable cruise that we had planned and shoot not only planned but purchased you know don't let me hinder your fun I don't want to hinder yours I mean I don't want you to hinder mine but don't do that for your own you can't you can't even take a until the laws pass in international waters, which they won't. I won't never say they won't, but write your write your ambassador near you. He's a politician. I'm sure he'll draw up a license and get paid for it somewhere with his attorney or her. But I didn't smell any marijuana on here, and them dogs work. You, you know, you gotta, you gotta. They line you up. They place you in a lineup on the wall for those that you haven't haven't experienced it yet. And they have the dogs walk in front of you. You gotta turn after you step. <laughs> after you walk in a lot, single file line, they push you against. They tell you to get next to the wall, and then turn in front. Place your luggage in front of your feet. So they say something to that effect and step back and and so you're by the wall then they bring Ren 10 10 and let you know the process happen where they smell for your luggage you know and and it's a quick process and then you get to go so <clears throat> i um i was glad of that because it does affect you know, it does affect people's um, aura. I mean, uh, their world when they're smelling something they didn't go on a cruise to smell. And you're that inconsiderate to sacrifice several days of a cruise for your own pleasure. I wouldn't do that. I try not to be drunk and spewing out my mouth. I left the group at the bar the other day because you know i didn't i didn't see that the little kids had left my right side my peripheral view. i thought they were gone and so i had to get up and remove myself because i had one too many drinks at a mixology demonstration mixology class mixology class but given by vladimir for you vladimir fans when you go on the carnival celebration, uh, he's there now. Hope he doesn't leave till you see Vladimir. He is the bartender hostess with the mostest. AJ and S, what's up, Jeremy? Hug Cheryl. I know you there sitting in the back seat if y'all y'all doing y'all thing. Hey, I mean that didn't sound good. Cheryl, I know you <laughs> not in the back seat. doing your thing i mean <laughs> i know you were jeremy oh my goodness i don't think before i speak so yes i'm that guy <laughs> hashtag backseat <laughs> oh man oh man <laughs> who backseat let me let me take a pause for those of who you have to take a pause and remember the back seat back seat <laughs> oh man i don't know if i get to post this uh live later <laughs> but that was doing my i was all jokes and fun uh, if y'all see what Z wrote, 
okay, yeah, the kids should not be in there. That's parents' fault. But but what happened was, not to their fault, Z, this was, um, the bar wasn't open until 2 in the afternoon. The seating outside the bar, which had a stage for your special instrument, hey, this, like a like a, a, a one-man circle stage platform, that is. But it has a piano, so I know it's bigger. Wasn't open until 2 o'clock. They had a mixology class that started at 12 that Tracy and I went to. And then I got, I got hammered. And um, my, my, length, um, my, my thoughts and, and mouth started running like diarrhea. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm being in um, shedding insight and giving people some, what is it called? Useless information from that class because now I know, you know, a little liquor history. <laughs> so now I think I'm, you know, I got my honorary doctorate degree or, or I got my back, I've got my official bachelor's in drinking. And um, the kids were able to be in there, not at the bar, but at the seating area we were sitting in. Nice windows that shed light from outside, from the um, ocean ocean view. And it's a cozy little little uh, place. So no reflection. I, I want to clear that up right now, and first and foremost. <clears throat> Thank you. You saw my certificate? I got a certificate in drinking, y'all. I mean, mixology class. You know, serious. When you get a, when you get a uh, certificate, I'm gonna show that later. I was gonna get up, but I want to continue in the sun. I need vitamin D. I'm out here because uh, the doctor told me I need vitamin D, and that wasn't the first time I was um, I was depressed, and because it was a cause of a lack of vitamin D, blew me blew me apart i mean blew my world or blew my mind to know that vitamin d has control over my psyche like that i didn't know that so now after the cruise i'm getting i'm staying in the sun until fall and then even then i'm hoping we you know go get on a cruise some sunny place other than that, I think I have to get a UV, some type of light that I read. I Googled this, and I, I, if it works, I don't know if that artificial light works, but if it does, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy one and uh, use it because I didn't know my vitamin. As fat as I am, I didn't know I was lacking any vitamins. You know, I'm lacking in vitamin D. It's nothing that a grown man wants to talk about. Now I gotta get my vitamin D. Yeah. Doesn't sound just just sounds just doesn't sound right. Hey, thanks, freedom of speech. You right, <laughs> Z. I like freedom of speech, but however, I'm trying to follow the scripture that says, "Think before you speak." <laughs> Think before you speak. Uh, and that's called uh, Negro Dumb, the book of Negro Dumb, um, chapter three, verse one. The opening statement says, think before you speak. So I'm trying to do that, you know, a lot more. Be, be conscious of my, be of others. Because I can, boy, once I start, once I talk, I don't care where they land. Because if, I, if I, I feel like if I'm not trying to hurt you, your feelings, and I'm working on my next stand-up comedy that I'll never, ever go to, I'll say it. And get me that one shoot, that first fun ship, I'm your, I'm, the, I'm your new family member. Oh, so speaking of Virgin Voyages, Z, Plan to meet up. Let's plan this right now. A tentative date for 2025 Virgin Voyages. 
or 2024. We have none on the books for 2024, but what Virgin Voyage is costing, uh, not cost, but I wonder if we're going to do it in 2025. So please uh, keep that open for a meetup on the Virgin Voyages, okay? It'll be our first cruise on another line if we don't go to Royal Caribbean soon, which is, is gonna, it looks like it's going to happen soon. We just didn't, we just didn't uh, book it. Yeah, the um, it's I'm worried about between cruises, uh, vitamin, you know, lack of vit lack of vitamin D, is because um, I know I stay inside all the time and I I take a lot of naps and I'm shaking that now, so I'm outside and I'm not going to take a nap. If I feel sleepy, I hope I take that that accidental power nap right in the chair I'm sitting and then I get back up and I get back active if the sun is up and it's not a cloudy, rainy day. Um, but it's the, that's my, that's my concern is between, um, between seasons, between summers, you know, what, what will I do? I know I got the vitamin D pills, but the, my own doctor, doctors are people who practice medicine said vitamin D has not been proven to give you that vitamin the vitamin D pills. When he told me that, I'm like, what if we're taking placebos and we don't know it? I'm like, shaking my head because somebody's getting rich off of these, off of these equate vitamin Ds or somebody's vitamin D near you. Somebody's getting rich off of something that's not clinically proven to work. Now, people might say their vitamin D is better because they take such and such. I got, I went to Mexico. We went down on the cruises into the islands and I bought vitamin D gummies. And it says vitamin D3 or vitamin B3, vitamin D3, I think. But anyway, I bought gum, vitamin, vitamin gummies, vitamin D vitamin gummies from Aruba. This is my, my wife's chair, but she's not here. I depend on her for all my lack of brain. And she's at work right now. So, so G, well, Jesus don't take second to her, but Jesus is, hopefully God is here right now. All right, so back to what I was saying. So anybody chime in on my first point, and that is Kyrgyzstan has a short, Pier for run uh, for late for late borders for the pier runners. Did y'all know that? What do you think? Do you think all piers should ban any type of shuttles, human shuttles, um, bicycle shuttles, etc., et and so forth? Do you think if you're late, you are to run the walk of shame, the the pier of shame rather, so that my channel gets more content <laughs> what do you what do you think guys old school peers or new school peers or have you ever seen a peer runner live and you know and for you all who do non cruises in the room do you even care all right Z um, you guys heard it here. I usually am secretive about my about our cruises. Being black, a little black history, we had to travel at night. And we never traveled during the day. We always left the house after midnight. <clears throat> As a culture. Due to slavery reasons, running away. So a learned behavior from a lot of black people is to always, when I grew up in the 70s, was always, I grew up in the 70s, late 60s, it was always leave the house and go on your Disney trip in an in a Electra 225 from Chicago at 2.33 o'clock in the morning. 
you, you go to bed, you know, as a kid, you, you go on to bed, you know you're going on the trip, but you don't know why we're going to bed, you know, when they're saying we're leaving tonight. You know, I'm thinking we're leaving tonight means we're leaving that after dinner. <laughs> Come home from work, shower, check your luggage, and get on the road. Eight o'clock at night. Not us. My mother and father was deep south, born and raised. Dothan, Alabama's by the Florida state line. My father, Washington, Georgia. I think they finally got their first um, traffic light. And he's been dead since 1985. Okay, so my godfather, they had to leave Tennessee when he was a teenager because the next day, the 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 the, the, t the town men or the white town men were coming to do something bad to his father, so they had to move in the middle of the night. It's a learned behavior, so be it. Probably not even a, a race thing, but however, I'm very private of my cruises. I don't want nobody to know when I'm there and, and I'm coming. Big brother's always watching, but. That's the times we live in. I can't do nothing about that. If you're there, a camera sees you. And that's digging a hole through China. Somebody's going to catch it and tick-tock it. <laughs> There'll be an ant somewhere. Taping your every move. <laughs> it'll be a, it'll be a termite somewhere. <laughs> getting some <laughs> getting some watch hours. <laughs> okay, I had enough. Okay, I went off course there. This is when you this is what happens when you when you're bored and you have nothing to do. <laughs> Hey, I'm watching too, J and S, Jeremy and Cheryl. Okay, so we did. We, you, would would you all say we covered the topic? Wait a minute, let me read y'all comments. Okay, hey, I love this. I got more comments than I've ever had in a live before. So, um, thank y'all for joining. Y'all read up on some of these comments earlier. Anthony on the move said good morning. Leonard family is Tarnisha in here. She's uh and her hubs is barbecue. Barbecue. I came home and barbecued at eight o'clock in the morning after coming home from Miami yesterday. Didn't come home and unpack, didn't get in bed and take a shower or nothing. I go right to work on that barbecue grill. Eight in the morning. The ribs and chicken were done by 2, 2 30 Best batch ever. I'm getting better at this barbecuing. Gr grill, uh, charcoal, not, no propane tank here. I got pro prunk tanks for this, uh, this outdoor fire thing. And I think I got a propane tank for something else. Nope, got an electric fryer over there. So it doesn't use propane at all. Even though I like propane when it comes to air frying. I think it just flows better than electricity. I don't know why. <clears throat> I like I like uh, fire burning stoves too because I like to broil my steaks and them compared to a compared to a um electric stove. But that's off topic. We're talking pier runners on the Curacao Pier. For the first time caught by us, a real pier runner channel, even though we spell it P-E-E-R, because we're your peers who like to yell at the people getting back on the ship from looking up, looking from up high down low at the pier runners. See that dirt right there? That's a pier runner. The ants already got on the cruise. That's why I can't see any. They're not late. This person's late.
Say hi, Remy. That's Remy. Mm. Hi, Remy. Okay, we'll let you go back in the shade. Say bye. Um, Z. Uh, Z. All my friends are here. All you guys. But Z. Bill. Jeremy. Cheryl. I want you to know Z has com has um has committed to going on a virgin voyage cruise out of Australia at my request together. <clears throat> so my invitations to everybody in this chat to Australia. Give a thumbs up if you guys mull that over in a second in the chat. <clears throat> Remy. Yeah, <laughs> they said you're a peer runner, girl. That's Sugar Mama right there. That she's the oldest dog I have. She looks like a fox. All I know is how to do is turn. Uh, do the reverse camera button on here. I don't know any other commands on this YouTube live. That's why I have to get, that's why I have to get Bill's and Z's uh, software. She's 107 years, uh, we had her for 17 years. So y'all do that dog math. This one just came here two or three months ago by my daughter, our daughter. <clears throat> she eats, she eats cardboard from your Amazon packages. Um, no dates, no dates for the Australian, but the year is, uh, 2025. Okay. Because I don't know if we want to put this on 2024 because we don't have any cruises on in 2024 and I still I still wrapping my head around that why how we have cruises in 2025 but we don't have any cruises in 2024 oh well we gotta fix that so I, you know I like the summer months so it's gotta be starting after April May June Particularly May and June. Uh, if, wait, 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 no, no, no. I have to digress. My travel designer will let me know because we may want to go for her birthday slash our wedding anniversary, which is in late summer or the fall. But don't I don't want to speak out of turn. I have to think before I speak because I don't make any of these decisions because I put this, I put this in the, in, in the trusty, capable hands of my wifeager. Not my manager, but my wifeager. Because I used to be drunk all the time. I, I books put something on the calendar and forget the date we're supposed to be there. Thanks, Z. Break down me long-windedness. Break down my long witness. witness. I'm, okay, I'm going to take you guys in here. We didn't get to cover the other points. We covered the, the short pier and catching pier runners on, in Curacao on the, nice, on the nice little short pier there. And uh, then we covered uh, some other stuff that I didn't know we'd cover because I didn't stay on topic. Here's my drinking a certificate everybody
I got a diploma. Carnival Bar University. Oh, yeah. I got a degree. Alchemy Bar Diploma. Come on, girl. Come back outside. You coming outside? Oh, she's deaf. She can't even hear me. Come on, girl. Come on. You staying in? You staying in? So... Let me show you what we came home to. Some improvements. While you're on an eight-day cruise in the summer, you can come home to your peppers. And then you can come home to tomato sprouting. And some fresh basil that smells divine. Mm. And some peppers. Some okra. All planted the week before we left, y'all. And um, yeah, I'm all forgetting the topics and I can't pull anybody up because I don't have the technology. So I'm gonna let you guys go and thank everybody for listening. Um, I'm gonna look for another live to raid. If you all know, tell me where to go. We'll uh, continue on somebody else's live. Take care.